It literally costs more than two pennies for the U.S. government to mint a single penny. Or to be more specific, in the fiscal year of 2018, it cost the government 2.1 cents to make and distribute a single penny. It's not just penny sue. In the fiscal year of 2018, a nickel cost 7.5 cents. This is an increase from the previous year where a penny cost 1.8 cents and a nickel cost 6.6 .6 cents, which is both an increase from the year before that where a penny cost 1.5 cents and a nickel cost 6.3 cents. On the 10th page of the U.S. Mint's annual report, it says that the rising cost of metals is one of the major factors to blame for the expensive minting process. It states that compared to the previous year, the average price of a nickel increased by 28.7%, copper by 15.6%, and zinc by 13.2%. This is important because since 1962, pennies have been 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper. Nickel coins are made from 75% copper and 25% nickel. The fact that the components of pennies and nickels have more monetary value than the coin itself has raised concern that people would melt the coins to sell the base metal. The US government criminalized the export and melting of pennies and nickels in 2006. A violation of the law is punishable by up to five years in prison, a $10,000 fine, or both. In December 2014, the U.S. Mint suggested to Congress to change the composition of nickels to be 77% copper, 20% nickel, and 3% manganese. The government is currently experimenting with different metal compositions, but changing the penny and nickel is a bit complicated, since a change in a metal composition can render electric payment sensors obsolete.